Hello and welcome back to the wonderful world of Transport Fever. My name is Captain Drusif and today we're just gonna keep on moving. Uh, got things kind of paused for now just to sort of make sure we're not missing out on anything but we've got a little bit of cash here on hand, uh, quite a bit of debt. I only got three million dollars left with regards to loans. Um, so we should probably try to up our uh, our cash that we have right now before we proceed much further. We've got two trains running, or three trains I should say. So it should be bringing in a sizable amount of income here. Um, the new line that we built in the last episode is doing pretty well. Uh, just kind of transporting oil to this uh, processing facility, the Houston, well, excuse me, we're taking oil from <laughs> this place and then we're basically delivering it here and then it's being processed locally in New Orleans. So that should be providing fuel, which it is. We're satisfying a, a lot of fuel actually here. So we may go one of two directions this episode. We may start with uh, kind of extending the line which might be our cheapest opportunity here uh, from Atlanta to Washington. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I think that might be where we go, but it may also be worth uh, kind of also building a, a Houston line here because uh, we've already got like half the track, even though I am going to double it up. I've already got half the track, so we could just... Uh, have that extend to Houston as well. It wouldn't be that expensive to go from there, and I think we could just double this up. Although I'd have to I'd have to upgrade this as well. Yeah, so that might be cost prohibitive at this time. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the passenger train first. So let's get let's get the time moving here a little bit. Kind of double time, speed times two. Let the uh, trains run and uh, yeah, build up some capital. These things are pretty slow when uh, <laughs> you put it at one time speed, you know, kind of like normal speed. I mean, we're topped out, I think, here. Almost. Okay, so 25 for this train is topped out. And, uh, man, we're just, we're really moving along, aren't we? It's, it, it's not going anywhere too fast, at least by modern standards. But... I mean, the people in the back of this, riding along, they must have their minds blown. They're like, what? 25 miles per hour without horses or anything? Crazy, crazy, crazy. I can't even imagine how, you know, such commonplace technology, I mean, not even commonplace, outdated technology nowadays would have been perceived back in 1867. I guess it'd be kind of the equivalent of realizing, oh, I can talk to a computer now, you know, I can hang out with my Google Home or Alexa and just, like, ask them what the weather's like all the time and get random facts delivered to my ears. Just be like, hey, what's the price of dog food in China? And they'll be like, um, I don't know, something in their currency. I'm not even really sure what that would even be, but if I had those, I would know. But... That's probably just useless information. I don't even live in China. I don't buy bulk dog food from China. At least I don't think I do. I sometimes buy dog food. But not enough to warrant me having a uh, an up-to-date knowledge of the dog, pr uh, dog food prices in China. So now that we've really deviated from what we're doing here today, just keep an eye on this here. Might as well start building the tracks. So we've already got the station set up properly, which is good. And I had the foresight to build out, so I didn't have to worry about destroying any buildings. And we've already got the station built over here as well, so kudos for that. But I'm thinking I'm going to cut this piece here and then kind of extend this out like so. Try and keep this as high speed as possible. 37. Ooh. What the heck? I think the autosave kind of messed that up. Alright, so that'll drop it to like 50. Ooh, yeah, we really lost 
bit of money there. Okay, now it's back. <laughs> um, I think it's the type of bridge. Yeah, because if you use a different kind of bridge, it it speeds it up. I kind of like the tiny bridge. It's kind of cute in a way. So I think we'll keep it, even if it is a little expensive. Ooh. Do we want to do steel bridge, or... Really, we should stick with the wood bridge, I'm thinking. But for just a few thousand more, we have future-proofing on our side. So I think I'm going to do that. And the reason I'm doing that is, so, I mean, this would be fine for now. None of our trains go faster than 37. But then I won't have to come back and rebuild this if I do this. I mean, eventually if I have like a, I don't know, something like a TGV or something that can achieve like the top speed of the tracks in this game, then I'll revisit it. But for now, I think that'll work just fine. And it looks pretty. It's a nice little bridge. Uh, some, uh... Well, I don't like that it's not, like, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? It starts with an S. What is that word? It's like evenly distributed across the plane, like, uh, God. it'll come to me, it'll come to me. For now though, let's keep, let's keep going here. Let's see, we're going to cut through, so this is where I want to kind of put a little bit of forethought here. So we've got kind of these roads here. I don't want to cut through a bunch of roads. At least not too much. So I'm thinking we'll have this kind of curve up here. And let's get the topography pulled up. Perfect. No major changes. Keep it like that. And then like, like that. Speed limit 75. Yeah, like that. And then I think this way we have only one road connection, and it's not even a heavily trafficked one, at least not yet. What happens if I just do this? 144. That's, that's too much. $311. I don't want to take the loan out yet, because I'm going to need that for the train. And then we're going to have to build buses, too. Wait, do I? I? Okay, I was like, wait a sec, I've got buses here, don't I? It just wasn't showing up. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. So we'll delete this road here. We'll reconnect that here in a minute. And then... Um, 75. And then I think we're clear to... 23, 15. What? Ah. Symmetry! There's the word. Good lord. <laughs> you guys are probably watching like, it's symmetry, you idiot. Symmetry. I knew I'd get it eventually, though. Okay, road vehicle 10 has reached its, li its lifetime. So let's, let's set this up to replace automatically still down 96,000 now luckily these are full and check perfect all right so we've got the line built and it's a pretty line I must say I'm pretty satisfied let's go ahead and connect this road back up We'll keep it the uh, small road. We're not even using this yet, although this is going to be advantageous eventually. In fact, okay, good. I can get around here because we're going to need oil to get over here. Think about just setting up a port. We'll get uh, plastic sent here. Then we need wood at that point. Where is. Alright, so we've got the processing plant there but we then need a source of wood which is right there so we'll have we'll have a line coming from here to here to here that'll be expensive but then we'll have 
Oh no, and then there's oil right here. I don't even really need to put a... I was thinking about using like, um... Oh, well, I still need... I still need the oil. That's just a processing plant. Uh, Alright, so we've got a lot of crude oil options over here. I'm thinking... Uh, putting a harbor here. And then having that transported all the way by boat. Now bear with me on that, <laughs> by boat, to here, which might take some time. I think I need like three or four boats on that route. But then from there, I can just truck the finished product, the, the processed oil, from here through Washington to here. And then I'll just have like one... Um, like transport depot here yeah I think that'll work but that's oh my gosh that's quite the distance from all the way over here to up there I think we can make it work though but more prudent right now is probably purchasing this next train or even building the bus network over here in Washington in fact we'll do the bus network first or holy crap it already exists or at least this exists. Did I build any? I haven't built any bus stops, so it doesn't fully exist. But we're getting there. This is good though. the The major purchase is out of the way. Um, we'll have that there, that there, that there. We'll put one here, 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 and there. So we can build a line. This will be Washington bus. I have a station here, here, here. Do, 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 do. Put a road depot out. And I'm thinking we're going to put it well, actually, it probably doesn't matter if I put it over here or over here. But at any rate, we'll stick it. It'll be kind of out of the way. We'll stick it by this food plant. And then we can buy a few of these horse-drawn carriages and assign them to the Wash Bus, Washington Bus. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, terminate New York. And we might as well go to Boston while we're at it. They're pretty close. I wonder if I could build a profitable bus line just between these two cities given their proximity. It might be something to just try out. But we've got $182,000 now. We're going to need, I think, a bit more to. Uh, fully afford the train that we're about to purchase. So we'll have to set up a train depot here. Or I'm thinking let's let's kind of put it like along here. That way we kind of have equal access between these two. But only once we have the funds. There we go. that and that and then also that so let's do we'll go ahead and make the line go from here to there and this might not all fit on one line so we'll do Washington Atlanta pass wow that actually did fit surprising and hold up what are these for what are we missing what the heck alright well 
sell, 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 sell. I don't know how those were purchased there. Maybe I purchased them a while back. I think so. It has been a little while since I recorded on this particular save game, so bear my, uh, or uh, excuse my forgetfulness. Normally not this forgetful, but. So we've got that there. I mean, because we've got the buses running over here. Yeah, it had to be from earlier. Otherwise, I have no clue. Anyways. This. Buy trains. Let's see. So that's a freight locomotive. We should stick with this one. Borrow 500,000. One. Two. Three. Four. That's that's too much, I think. So let's stick with three for now, and we'll have that set up to that line there. And we're off to see the wizard. I think three is a good number. Still only mediocre power. We might upgrade that to four here, not too, not too long from now, but. The, uh, ooh, American horse cart. Oh, nice. That will be, that'll be nice to have. Replacement. Better than the horse wagon. Replace now. 201,000. Okay. Forget that. We'll do, we'll just let that come later. <laughs> That's a lot of money. $201,000. Who would have thought? See, yeah, I've got this wood bridge here that's going to have to be upgraded eventually. And this is kind of a disappointment, almost. With, I mean, it's got four cars, but it's not even full. I think we're going to have to upgrade this to have one less car. Still gonna cost three fifty. Okay. Maybe it'll make more money then. I'm hoping, because it'll have less expenses. Either way, I think this is a good stopping point for now. Uh, did what we set out to do today. We'll definitely explore new uh, adventures and building opportunities in the next episode, but. I think now's a good stopping point. So be sure to like the video if you liked it, dislike it. If you didn't, subscribe if you'd like to stay in touch and keep track of all the episodes that will be coming out regarding Transport Fever and uh, other fabulous games. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.